Hello everybody, this is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk, and if you can tell, I have a messy desk, but <laughs> sometimes you just have to go where the inspiration takes you, and I have to tell you, <laughs> um, I had, let me move my snippets out of the way, okay, I got this packet of uh, black and white black and white by Tim Holtz okay and I had it it was like 50% off so it was like three bucks and I've had it for a while and I just kept staring at it and then you know sometimes you just get in the mood to create so what I did was I have these big massive <laughs> uh, envelopes these white envelopes Okay, so I'm like, okay, I have to do a black and white themed uh, journal. In fact, it's sometimes fun just to do a certain color and try to find all the different colors that you want, you know, for your journal. So this is black, white, and a little bit of gray. So um, this is the envelope. And all I did was I covered it with some paper and I stitched around it. And then I put this big honking card on here because... Um, oh, well, I'll show you what else I'm doing with the cover. But, okay, so the front cover is actually another envelope that I put score tape on. So whoever gets this, they can actually peel it off and seal it. So they could put a secret, they can do whatever they want in there. Um, and then these are the different papers. I have stitching on it. And, um, some just, it's all black and white, like I said. Um... This I'm going to turn into some type of pocket. But everything in here, black and white, um, gray stitches, and um, here's another envelope I got to fix. And then here is a fun center. And then, let's see, I have, well... And that's the other pocket. And then, oh, in the back, I have this. There's a pocket up here. And this is going to be a hidden pocket because I have this. This was a just a, a bag that I am going to put here. It has a, uh, a fabric pocket. And then it'll flip and I'll have something in here. And then this will be a pocket. And then this opens up and you have a little hidden pocket down here and up here. So that's where that's going to go. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I was pulling. Um, oh, and here is another little uh, tip that I am going to do. Okay, so when after you thread your, um, after you get your signature sewn in, and I have, I left a long tail because I'm covering the spine, but I'm going to cover it to where the um, string comes up on the top and I'm going to put beads and charms on it and then this can be used as a bookmark that hangs down okay so it's all connected so you don't have to worry about nothing you know coming out or anything um, so next is oops I want to make sure let me hold on so Washi tape is the best, I'm telling you, for just little minor things here. I just want to, so I can hold, so those will stay in place for right now. Oops, I don't want them all over the place. Why I'm... Okay, so I have some black velvet. So what my cover is, I have these two. Um, uh, I might do it like... That, and then him down here like that. And then I have, well, where did it go? Oh, 
Okay. So I have some of this and I have some of this. Not quite sure where I'm going to put it all. And I have some black sequins and a bunch of different um, black and white stickers and stuff. So, and numbers. And I'm thinking I need to figure out. Anyway, it's just really fun. You know, like my uh, next one, I was thinking maybe just do another all two two tone color, you know, so let's see. Trying to figure out where I want to. Okay, so this I will use to cover up, but maybe. All right, so first thing I need to do, I guess, is to glue these on. Because... And then all of this yummy goodness. <laughs> Can't help it. It's just, it's so fun. And it's just so simple. Um, you don't really have to think about it. You just find the colors and, you know, go from there. But I think I'm going to get out my fancy, my fancy fabric tech. And, um, you know. Oh, and do I need to, I don't think I need to, let's see what it looks like. I'll put some black on the edges. Not much. I just love these. So I have another set of a woman and a man that's a different, um, they're wearing different hats and different style. These two just look like they go together, you know. <clears throat> So, that is what, like, I don't have enough going on. I'm working on my cat and hat, which, you know, that's going to have to be done. And, um, and, uh, um, a couple weeks. But I got to show updates on Fridays. So, you know, what do you do? But, you know, I was just, I actually, I was just like, I couldn't get it out of my head that I needed to do this. You know, when you need, oops, when you need to do something, you just have to do it. That's all there is to it. All right. And then she, before I smash his hat down, I think I'm going to put her And then smash it down. <laughs> I mean, how cool does this look? I did. <clears throat> I think I did. I think I did a, a, a little miniature black and white uh, playing card, I think. Or was it red? Red and black. So, let's just make sure it all gets smushed. And just wait until you see all the snippety snippets I have. Um, 
Okay, so I have this awesome, awesome velvet. This this velvet is friggin' the bomb. Um, so, and I think what's gonna help Let's see here. I'll pin it. All right. Actually, I wanted to put a little bit of on the back side. You know what I mean? This is an old curtain. You know those old curtains? Um, I have a big panel of this curtain. And normally, they're out of date. People don't usually use them anymore. But I'm like... <sighs> you know <laughs> I have to use this. <laughs> so, all I'm going to do is just put a little bit just to put it in place here. And then... Just a little. Because I don't think... I mean, I could... Let's put some, because it's going to get covered up. I love fabric tech. All right. Now, stay. hair for a minute. You have to be all crazy. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so Let's get the back on first. This literally, I've been working on this all day. All day. I haven't been able to stop. It's just one of those things, you know? Oh, as long as I don't get all the... Okay. I just thought I'd film and show you real quick how easy it is just to whip together something a little fun. I just, okay, so all I did was I just started pulling black and white stuff out. Um, I just started pulling um, anything black and white, which is harder than what I thought because um, some of it is like a cream And I'll show you here in a minute what I mean by that. So, like, 
this you would think is black and white, but it's not a white, it's a cream. Here is, see the difference between the colors? This has that old, you know, antique uh, patina to it. Um, so I'll do another one with this more of this color scheme. It kind of reminds me more of like the paper a paper bag color, which you know will be fine. So now let's see. Get that black velvet. That black velvet. I try to get all of the stuff on on this so it can dry. Um, it unfortunately, we'll have to sit and dry. But and you know what I forgot to do? Darn! And I cut and I had this out too. Dang it! Um, I wanted to glue this under. I wanted to glue the ribbon under the spine here. I guess I can still, dang, ding, 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 you guys, but I gotta put a little something else on it anyway, so this was gonna go, let's see here, I was gonna put this that so maybe I can glue it there well it's gonna have to that's all there is to it <laughs> um, let's Okay, so then, sorry if you can hear the doggy. He's being a pill. He is being a pill. Yep, I glue and then we're going to have to let it dry. I like little bits and pieces of this. It's so dang floppy. Really didn't want to cover that seven up, but there's nothing I can do about it. Let's see. Let's get the rest of this on. Trying to not to make too much of a mess because I don't want, um, you know, glue to be showing everywhere either. Let's see. 
Okay. All right, you guys. So now that you've seen, I started something else. Not that I needed to. Not that I needed to. Okay. And then... Let me tie this so the ribbon will stay in place as it dries. I have more to put on the front cover. You know me. I have much, much more. But I wanted to get the majority of this trim on and then you guys are like what else <laughs> well I think I will add that piece Cover. The back. Ugh. If only this wasn't so straight. <laughs> And then, let's see, do I want to put some extra? I have plenty. I can do that too. Actually, can I get it up? get it up okay we're gonna reverse reverse probably are like Wendy that's enough I know I know but I like the different layers and the textures um, you know, it just, I think, makes, makes, makes it. You know, it just makes it when you have all these layers. All right, and then... I'll put a little extra there. Alright, and then we're going to have to let it dry. I can't do nothing else until it dries! <laughs> oh no! Probably should have... But here, I wanted to show you some of my... Um, what I did real quick. Alright. Let it all dry, and then I can put the final stuff on it. All right, so it's going to have to sit up like this. So, let me put the clamps on and lean it up against. 
to lean it up against something. Okay, there we go. So let me. All right, so as you guys know, I have, I still have this and that to put. Okay, but here, let me show you my little clusters I did to jazz up. Okay, so I have this, this ruffle. Oops, just a fun little ruffle. And then I have this cluster with a vintage stamp. Oh, I just sewed on this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll put it over there with my black and white stuff. All right, I just have, I have this one. And then I have this fancy, smancy one. I'll probably trim this down some and just maybe put this on the edge. I don't know yet. So, and then I have this one that has vintage stamps on it. It was hard trying to find the black and white or gray stamps. I did find some though. And then I have this one. And... This was the other um, stamp, the black and white stamp I found. So there's that one. And this one I just got a little funky because I had this plate. And I stitched it on to this black and white fabric. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll pin it up or bolt it up or staple it or something. I don't know what else I'm going to do with that. But then I have... Let me, I'm having so much fun with this, you guys. <laughs> so much fun. Um, okay, so I have, of course, the black and white stripes. My white ribbon. Actually, black and white, some text. Um, these are all black and white. Black and white black and white stickers, some folded cardstock, um, some vellum, really thick vellum paper. See? And this was a card I got from the Duchess, Jeannie the Duchess, and it's black and white, so unfortunately I'm going to uh, <laughs> recover it and turn it into something for in there. Because, I mean, look how awesome it just fits perfectly with the whole spiel. So I got all of this. My snippets that will dress everything up. I do have a black, a couple black and white napkins. Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. And then I have a bunch of... Oh, I have a couple. There's some sparkly black and white. And then I have leftover velvet, black velvet. And then the last of my little roses. I'll have to put that somewhere. And then, of course, I have this black sequence. And this fun... Button, I mean, I don't know what kind of term you want to call it, but I just love that. Love that. Okay, and then of course, I pulled out all of my but yeah, all of my I got my cat and hat stuff being, you know, glue. So I have a bunch of black and white. Who knew I had so many black and white lettering stickers and stuff. So, and big old numbers. Of course, these were for the house number, you know, mailbox numbers. So, and then I got, the, then I have this, this is actually, this envelope is black and white. And then I figured I'll cover the inside of it. And I also have some sparkles. I, a sparkle letters that I think will just make some it pop. Now the question is, what type of words should I be spelling out? So, 
There they are. I just think they'll just go awesome with this. So, do I need to spell out some words, you think? Um, let me know. Or just use my fancy text text block. Um, oh, and of course, then um, I need to put this somewhere out of my way. And then, of course, what started it all is <laughs> this mess. Okay, oh, so here are the other two. I think I'll do another one with these two. They're smaller. And, you know, they got the shorter hats. They're not the big top hat and stuff. So I thought these will be cute to do another one on. So, but I have, you know... Oh, this is just awesome stuff. I love the black and white. I'm actually I'm tempted to get my markers out or my colored pencils and add a hint of color to something. So I like that look to where um, it's all black and white, and then all of a sudden you have a, like a bright red umbrella. You know, uh, just that one color, that one piece. Um, so I do like that. So, uh, maybe on my neck, on the other next one I make, but look at, I mean, this thing is filled, filled with a bunch of, um, different kinds of things to it. It's just so cool. And you know me, I couldn't leave it alone. So, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> all right. I know I'm crazy for starting something, why I've got all this going on. But, you know, when something is telling you to do it, I'm doing it. <laughs> At least when it comes to this. All right. Well, that's enough for now. Um, I'm going to let this dry on my the spine dry. And then finish up making up the cover. And we'll get to the inside, which won't take long at all. Since I'm pretty much ready. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. Okay. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what color you would like to see next. Or maybe when I do this, another one. Because I, like I said, I have this huge stack of these white envelopes. So these are really kind of fun to do. So, um, we'll see. All right. Bye.